Today we're going to be tying a foam caddis, a uh, pattern that I, I love simply because of its inability to sink um, and also helps with, with water logging if you're like me and like to fish kind of the same fly uh, on numerous runs. So this is the pattern here. Um, materials will be listed in the description below, but essentially it's just a piece of foam, some dry dub um, and hackle. So quite simple pattern, uh, I think a great pattern for beginners. Um, so let's give it a whirl. So what I'm putting in the vise are the Togan's dry fly um, in size 12. And I got a brown Semperfly Nano Silk thread. Um, Really, you could use any thread you want. Um, I like the I like the nano silk just for especially for dry flies, um, as it just simply allows me to get um, more materials with less bulk from some of the thicker threads. And what I'm going to do is simply start about an eye hook's length away, start winding down. I like the browns and greens. Um, I like them more of the sort of the natural colors. From time to time, yeah, I'll tie a nice kind of fancy fly um, just for the love of the of the hobby. Um, but yeah, for actual fishing, catching fish, I'll always try to stick to natural colors. Um, for the dubbing, I'm actually going to be using um, a dry fly, super fine. Um, and I actually have it marked here. This is a, the color BWO. And I'm just gonna grab a bunch. And I'm kind of, what I do is I kind of flare it and spread it out a bit. So it's more even across my entire noodle. Then I'm gonna dub that on. Nice tight noodle. And then as I get closer to the middle of the shank, I'll build a little bit of a taper, not too much. And then I'll and my thread there. From here, um, what I've done is I've pre-cut some two millimeter white foam um, in little strips like this. You could do it thicker. I mean, I know there's a lot of unwritten rules, but I just kind of go what I feel like. And so this is just for some measurement perspective, looks to be about half A hook gap in width um, and then what I'll do is because I'm going to be using it for the head of the fly and kind of like the wing I'll leave a tad out here maybe two two and a half hook eyes length and then this I leave long and I can cut it to length as I see fit later on so I'm just gonna do wrap there just make sure it's nice and centered on the top of the hook just some securing wraps and then what I'll do is I'll lift up the the front end bring my thread to where I want it to end fold it down and cinch it in that way. Then once that's kind of looking how I want it, then I'll go back and I'll really start to crank down and just tighten up that, 
that foam so it's not going anywhere. Also essentially becomes part of the body, which helps keep it float even more. Uh, one thing to do keep in mind is, because I'm gonna be adding hackle, I do want this portion to be very sort of even. So I'm just being very cognizant of my, my wraps and keeping it even. Double checking to make sure it looks okay and on all ends of the fly. And making sure I end right where I finished my dubbing. Now we're going to tie in some hackle. Um, I'm going to be going with uh, a badger. Badger from Whiting's. And I've pre-selected a, a size that I like and for for measuring what I essentially do is I just I'll bring it up and what I'm looking out for is where the hackle is aligned with the point of the hook and that just makes sure it rides nice and even on the water and I'm just going to strip some of these fibers so that I have a tie-in point Now that I have that bare stem, I'm gonna tie that in. And I do have the shiny side of the feather facing me, and you have the dull side, which you're looking at. So that way when I wrap forward, the shiny side's actually looking that way. And again, just being very cognizant of my wraps here because this is what makes the the hackle look really nice and even and and flush i'm going to grab a bit more of my bwo super fine dubbing i'm just going to add a little bit of a a base there for the hackle to lay on And then what I want is to really just continue where I left my other dubbing. So if you look at the underside of the fly now, it just kind of looks like one continuous body. And that's what I'm after. So I need a bit more here. Okay, now you can see it's nice and even and ready for the hackle. So I'm just gonna grab my hackle and depending on how bushy you want it, I mean that the, you put more wraps, the more hackle. Um, you could spread it out almost like a, kind of like a stimulator pattern. Um, I like to do really, really close touching wraps. Tie that in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift up the front end of that foam, jump my, my thread forward. And if you get those stragglers, just nip them off. And 
grab my half hitch. I'll do one more here. And that's standing up nice and tall, which is awesome, which is what you want. And I'm just gonna clean up a few of these stragglers. I'm sure the fish don't care. This is just, this is me. This is my problem. Now the head, again, you can keep as high as you want. Um, keeping in mind, this is kind of like trying to stick with the traditional elk hair. Uh, caddis. I'm going to go in here and just cut a small little head. And now this I like to have just a tad longer um, than the length of the hook. And now if you're really picky and you want to do some more fancy stuff, you could cut this into a triangle. If you have the pre-cutters, you can make it into like a nice circle and it doesn't really matter. This is just representing the wing of the caddis. That's it. Now we're ready for a dab of head cement. Um, I, I got asked quite a bit um, how, you, how I put the head cement and not sort of worry about all the materials um, and whatnot. And my piece, my only piece of advice is don't worry about the eye of the hook. So what I do is I'll just grab my head cement and I'll just dab the entire eye of the hook and that'll all sink in. And then with a scrap piece of hackle, I got this tip from the feather bender you don't know him, check him out. He's on YouTube, he's awesome. And with a scrap piece of hackle, you can come in here and just ring it through the eye of the hook and you get rid of all that glue that was in there. There you have it. This is a very simple foam caddis, very effective. This is size 12, you can do it in size 14s as well. 16s, which is a little bit more challenging um, and just different colors. So hope you give it a shot. Thanks for watching, cheers.